born just a minute after my twin sister, Suki. She was my twin, but we were nothing alike. We didn't even look like we were sisters at all. Suki, with her long golden locks and blue eyes, seemed like a Barbie doll. As for me, I might have looked like a Cabbage Patch doll. There's a saying that families are like fudge, mostly sweet, but with a few nuts. In our family, that nut was Suki. The girl was crazy. All she ever wanted to do was have fun, and she was born with a really short fuse. Like one time, mom and dad took us to a restaurant, and Suki thought it would be fun to squeeze the ketchup bottle at people. Thank God I was safe, but not for long. <laughs> I'm not with them. Hey, Nora, would you like some ketchup? Saying that, Suki squeezed the bottle so hard that the ketchup landed on not just me, but on the waiter as well. Instead of being angry, my parents were laughing. <laughs> Suki, you sure know how to have fun. <laughs> yes, you are so naughty, but Mama loves you. I wasn't surprised when the waiter tried to stop her. She went ballistic, and eventually we were kicked out of the place and banned from ever coming back. Even when we would have exams, Suki would never take studies seriously, but still somehow managed to pass. But that wasn't for long. When we reached 10th grade, she failed and had to repeat the class. I wasn't happy that she flunked, but I wasn't sad either. I got to enter 11th grade without Suki, and it was awesome. I was finally my own person and no longer the sister of the most gorgeous and hot-tempered girl at school. I focused really hard on studies and aced every exam and soon was top of my class. I had my life goals set. I needed to be the best and get that one scholarship to my fave university that was offered to our school. While my parents were happy that I was excelling in my studies, they were even prouder that Suki joined the cheerleading squad. Mom went so insane that she threw a full-fledged party for Suki, wearing her cheerleading uniform from ages ago. Oh, my love, you keep making us proud, following your mom's footsteps. Seeing how everyone was just hovering all around Suki, something inside me flipped. Like, seriously, celebrating she joined the cheerleading squad? Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, I aced my ninth standard exams. Okay, fine, I might have overreacted, but I did have a point. Mom and Dad just rolled their eyes and went on to enjoy the party. Well, I felt like I'd get a headache, so I went outside in the garden to catch some air. Feeling frustrated, I kicked the dirt, and that's when I saw a guy. You. Idiot. You stupid, stupid idiot. Huh? What the heck? Hey, watch your mouth. You're standing in my garden calling me an idiot and stupid? How dare... The guy raised his hand, and when he removed his phone from his ear, I felt my cheeks turn red. He wasn't talking to me. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's what...